Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again on this platform. This is BVI Channel 1, where we tell you undiluted truth. Since after the killing of Deborah um, and um, the burning of um, properties belonging to Christians, especially Igbos in Sokoto, throughout yesterday I've been getting some kind of calls saying that I should say something about it and, um, you know, that uh, the, the government watches this platform of course it is true but not just the government but the general public and i want you to share this video because i took my time to you know take a look at so many videos springing up left right and center resulting to that um the killing of um, deborah and the current crisis happening especially against my people who are being targeted you see i have said the time without number that any religion that lacks humanity is evil evil let me talk on. whether it is christianity islam hindu traditional worship or whatever religion you practice that lacks humanity first is evil it had nothing to do with whatsoever god you pray to and that is the truth whether you like it or not because we have seen people who hide under religion to commit extremist ideologies. Extremist ideologies just to push through their own personal belief and resolve. And what is extremism? Extremism is a time or an action that do not tolerate any other people's opinion and you want to shove it down anyone's throat and you can go at all length to assert it that is extremism and i want to take this time to ask my people we should not allow such mentality in our homeland that is it then secondly i want to tell africans generally why is it that Islamic religion, especially, that came in from the Middle East, the Arab world, have turned into something else in Africa. The same thing is applicable to Christianity. Why would Islam and Christianity leave Europe and Middle East to Africa to wreak havoc? Whereas, in these places where it emanated from they prosper go to saudi arabia and see things for yourself many of you go to dubai this is an islamic country go to europe are we talking about europe and america go and see wonders happening there that is because in these places they don't tolerate extremism in the name of religion but here i need be an easy we carry it on our head so i'm not just here to condemn the the extremist muslim carrying about a demented ideology in the name of islam but also to talk to my people because this stress is also springing up from among us having that kind of mentality of extremism in whatever thing you are pursuing, we must shun it out. It just grows gradually. You may not know until it becomes a full-blown monster. Then to Nigeria as a whole, it is high time you guys understand that you always be a victim. Not the government people, no. Not the top um, elites, no. Wherever there is crisis like this, ordinary people will be the ones to suffer. I've seen a video where a cleric, perhaps, is asserting that their demented mentality and their government condoles it. Two years ago, I was Allah, Sakoto. Sakoto, I heard about you on Facebook. Ya wadda magangan nun da ba su da dadin fadi game da Annabi Rahama kuma cikin Sakkoto ni ce a maka yayi kuri ai ba Sakkoto ake irin wannan shiga ta ka mu kashi wa mu kai mu akan manzon Allah ya kama mu kashi 
ndo haka duba kano mbukba kano bache kano yanka swani shi yasa kaga anche mama zwa Allah dalu wadi ansaya ana jayaya anche mama zwa Allah kwartu ansaya ana jayaya muna keshi wa mukai wallahi kwadda mama zwa Allah buya kama rishi mukashi Allah ya gafar ta mu wani yaro na ga wani bawan Allah ji ga Facebook yace wai an ce mahaukaci ne yace to ai mu ma mahaukata ne ai iyaka hankali mu ka taba annabi ana taba annabi mun zama mahaukata wagga ita ce magana ta gaskiya Allah Allah shi muku albarka sakotawan shehu duk wanda ya kalli Facebook da sauran social media da irin wadda an ka hito kwarkwata an ka ta gidan sarkin musulmi ya nuna sakkwata suna nan bisa ga tarbiyar da dan hodiyo yayin musu don haka Allah shi muku albarka da an sakai ku kashe shi magana bai da hankali ba ta taso ba to bai da hankali duk bai da wanda yake zagi sai manzo Allah mu ma ba mu da hankali an taba annabi don haka duk irin mu bai da hankali ba mu da da an sakai ku kashe shi kuma ba shi da duk wanda ya taba manzo Allah ku kashe shi bai da hukunci ko belle ya bai taba manzo Allah bai da hukunci illa kisa musulmi in ya in ya zagi manzo Allah ko ya ce ya tuba wannan tuba ta tsakani ne da Allah Allah amma dai sai mun kashe shi bai da hankali ya sanya ta ya sau waya bai da hankali ya sanya sau data bai da hankali ya sanya bude shahin facebook bai da hankali ya san da an kayo mai chaya gogi don mahaukaci ka wadanga abubuwa da kun gane ku kashe shi an saka ku kashe shi kwata kun ba shi dai ba kwata manzo Allah ku kashe shi babu wani hukunci ga zagi manzo Allah illa kisa in ka tubu wannan tsakanin ka da Allah can in ya ga da mai ga amma dai mu na an ce mu kashe ka kwata ba manzo Allah ku kashe shi kada ku tsaya fada mu hukuma a kashe dai in ce ba ba an ce ba daukar doka a hannu to ci ko mutu an ce ya laifi ga hannu Yawa. So what else? What else do you want? I don't want to show you videos. You most of you have seen a lot of videos on flying on the WhatsApp and other social media platforms where people are being brought out, being killed in the name of Islam. Just correct as I speak to you. Christians in Sokoto are no longer safe. So we did everybody don't they find your own way on top of zinc since morning minutes we know even show fish since morning now wow it's going to be on fire that is barbaric i've also had some young people who speak spoke out against this kind of mentality and that is why i'm taking my time to speak out against it so that my people will not sell dog to buy to buy a cat even to cannot or buy a monkey even to cannot can no no e me link ta go ta enwe make even to can no no we wouldn't jettison nigeria and its impunity and still want to imbibe in that same barbaric mentality seen in nigeria i'm talking to my people now okay so i want you to pray for our people in Kanu. And I want to also remind you what Ujuku said. This is not the first time, anytime there is crisis that has to do with religion, my people will be the ones to carry it as the victims. Oh yes, if you insult Mohammed in in Jakarta, in, in America, people will start dying. My people will start dying in Nigeria, northern part of Nigeria. And I want to tell you, my people, until you get back home, you are not safe. As long as Nigeria is concerned. Because the government there is not even ready to protect you. Because some of the security operatives share the same mentality with these demented fellows. Let me talk They share the same mentality with them. You can imagine the way they said the guy, the girl was killed. They said they, they overpowered her uh, by the school authority and the rest. I heard that the girl was just walking on the road and they lynched her, mobbed her and killed her and burnt her 
body artists. And when some people were arrested because of it, just about two or three or four persons were arrested, boom, it escalated into this chaos that you're seeing. And you think you can operate and thrive within that kind of environment. I had Bruno you know, say, hey, if you want to uh, be safe in uh, Kano or in uh, Sokoto, especially you, make you respect their religion and their Mohammed. Now, what thing concern my people, the Igbo people? Concern what a young girl tweeted or made a voice note on WhatsApp. Tell me. Africans, you need to wake up. Nigerians, you need to wake up and stop being victim of a failed government. If Nigeria had a security that is workable, to be honest with you, the properties that were destroyed and the people that are being killed because of this wouldn't get to that point. Including Atiku, where they, where they campaign for, for to become the Nigerian president. After saying and condemning the killing, he was forced to remove it because he's sourcing for these people's vote. And these same people, you know, them, they carry their PVC. Every tweet has to get my approval. Unfortunately, this tweet, because I was traveling all over the country, did not have my approval. So I said it should be taken out. And that every tweet must have my express approval. I am not a person who is afraid to take stand on issues. You know the stand I took on Sharia. I was pelted. I was abused in the north but then how long did the sharia last i told them they were having a political sharia and i was vilified i they threw stones at me there is nothing they did not do that did not make me change you know my position as far as sharia is concerned but where is the sharia today so the only thing that went wrong with that tweet was that it was not authorized by me so you see how even their politicians are helpless to stop them. They can't. Their clerics are supporting them by the utterances. My people, extremism should not be allowed anywhere around us. And that was the message I just said I'm going to drop and have delivered the message. Please help me share it to sensible people who may be able to understand what I'm saying. Bye bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments. I want to have your opinion. Stay safe. Thank you.